All right, so since you, you had your four high school years here, that would have meant activities at Bayway Cabin, um, other things. You guys probably were at Bearden's every once in a while. <laughs> Friday night wasn't complete without 10 or 12 loops around Bearden's parking lot. Yeah, 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 that's funny. What other things did you guys do in town? As uh, high schoolers, uh, this is an adult audience. Yeah, so you so <laughs> occasionally got into trouble, or, or uh, got, came close to getting into trouble. I oftentimes said I was not directly involved, but I sort of <laughs> knew everybody else that got involved with the activity. I'll, I'll remember one night, for no reason at all, we just decided to take one of the Metro Parks benches from Lake Erie across the tracks into Westlake, just so we could have our own private, you know, park bench. Yeah. Just something to do. No outcome, no reason to do it. It was <laughs> yeah. just something to do. That was from Huntington? That was from Huntington yeah. Park, yeah. Now, when you were in school, did people go to Huntington Beach? Did... Yeah, we, uh, my sophomore year, uh, uh, we basically spent the whole summer down there. By my junior year, I was able to get a summer job. Yeah. And uh, so uh, weekends were, were still on the, on the beach at Huntington. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's funny. So... Um, do you have any teachers or people that influenced you in a large way when you were at Bay High? Well, the story about Rich Voyers, of course, and, and uh, another teacher of note was, uh, was Mr. Welst. Uh, he was our social studies teacher, and uh, I, I'll never forget, I, I came into the first day of class, and he calls me Brad. And so f I didn't bother to correct him, and for the rest of the school year, I was Brad Hall <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so how did Brad do in that class? Uh, Brad, uh, uh, it was actually, I, I do like uh, social studies, so yeah. we, we did learn a lot. Uh, he was a, a, a very interesting man. Um, you could just about the classroom, he had hardly any control over the class at all. I'll remember one day, we were on the third floor of, of the, what was the junior high back then, and one of my classmates, there's a, you can hear the lawn being mowed out, outside the window. So one of my classmates gets up, walks over to the window, turns around, and in a loud voice says, Hey, DeShetler, your mother's out there mowing the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> that was an example right of class. things that, yeah, yeah. That, that you could get away with. In, uh, in, uh, the, his nickname was Stubby Wells Class. Although he went into the Hall of Fame because people said yeah, he was so, yeah. such a phenomenal teacher. In hindsight, I had a great deal of respect for him, as I did with, uh, was it O'Donnell? O'Donnell. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, yes. Vincent O'Donnell. Yes, Vincent yeah. O'Donnell. Yes, yes, O'Donnell. Yeah. He was still teach when I was here, yeah. too. Neshios yeah. and all the things that yeah. he would do. He, he commanded your attention. <laughs> he had total control of that class. That's funny. 